All right, break out the tissues. <laughs> From the same person who brought us The Notebook, just in time for Valentine's Day, the movie The Best of Me is out on DVD. A love story about two high school sweethearts who reunite decades later. Our entertainment reporter Jim Ferguson spoke with the two actors who played the couple in Young Love. And Jim, welcome back. You're looking good. Well, thank you. I feel good, and it's, of course, it's always good to be back, you know. We're getting close to Valentine's Day. The Best of Me, as you described, a Nicholas Sparks love story. You know, eight of his movies have been... Eight of his books on the bestsellers list have been transformed into films, and they're all nice love stories. And if you're ready for that for Valentine's Day, I recommend The Best of Me. It has one flaw, which I'll, I'll mention in just a second, but I'm going to talk to Luke Bracey, who plays the young uh, love, the high school love, and um, uh, Liana Liberato is the girl, and they both have done a lot of work. Uh, Leanna, we just saw in If I Stay and Trespass. And Luke uh, broke out in November Man. Mm -hmm. So these are young actors on the way up. The one flaw is, I don't know if I mentioned it in the interview, but Luke is in his 20s and he plays a high school student. He looks nothing like James Marston. <laughs> Uh, he's taller than my, it just doesn't work. And I said that in my review, but they're nice young actors and good interview for the best of me. Here's Leanna and Luke. I really related and enjoyed this film and your performance. Oh, good. Were, I really good. do mean that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you both agree with me that the best of me is really like watching two movies? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You know, you have these characters who are in two completely different mindsets when you meet them. So, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then they are uh, torn apart and brought together in uh, yeah, as you say, a completely different movie two, in a way. Yeah, almost two different, yeah. movies, which yeah. I enjoy. Right? Yeah. Um, before you shot the movie, I, I did read, and if this is correct, that you guys kind of hung out a little bit and got to know each other before this actual shooting. Did that help? Yeah, no, we got a couple of weeks in in, in New Orleans, and yeah, just just really hanging out, rehearsing getting to know each other as well as our characters and that stuff is um, I mean it's, it's priceless crucial. yeah it's mm -hmm. crucial it's you really it. stuff that you can't fake um, getting to know these people and getting to know each other it was um, lovely and especially to do mm -hmm. it in such a enchanting town as New Orleans it's um, it's a lovely place and and to be in the city in the state in the area where the movie was set also adds another flavor to it you know that mm -hmm. that whole area down there has its own certain rhythm and character that it's very unique and and kind of well, flavors you feel everything it. you feel like yeah. you're there you yeah. watch the movie you know yeah but Leanna the two characters uh that you play Amanda and you play of course Dawson uh, Opposites attract. Opposites attract, but also there's a... There's they have the same heart, though. Exactly, exactly. That's the thing. You know, from an outside perspective, you know, the public persona is that, you know, he's from some place, you know, that's grimy and dirty, and I'm from this very upper class, you know... Yeah, why not, you know... You know but it's... Yeah. They both have such loving and dedicated... Like, they're, they they have the same heart. In a way, yeah, well, they're, they're, they're so superficial they... differences, you know, yeah. in terms yeah. of they're, they're placed in these situations which aren't any of their choices, you know. You can't, you're not chosen into the family, yeah. you can't choose the family you're born into, and yeah, I think they find themselves on a very even, pure level. Mm -hmm. the... Yeah, he looks about 38. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I should have mentioned it's a dual love story, of course, set in Louisiana, and the topography of that area of Louisiana really fits the film. Did you think so? Yeah, well, I haven't seen the, the film itself, but I watched, I've seen the trailer mm -hmm. a couple of times, and um, I think it's very beautiful. Um, but I, my favorite clip from the movie, again, I haven't seen it, is when they meet again, when they're decades later, and the woman says, why couldn't you have just, you know, become ugly and fat and bald? Why do you have to be so hot, you know, yeah. as like an older man? Yeah. Uh, you know, and they obviously saw that. Of course, they were high school sweethearts. Yes. They, they, uh, he leaves and they split for 20 years. Yeah. And they reunite at a funeral in a little town. Well, but, but they did well for I themselves. Like it. I liked it. I yeah. liked it. It's a nice love story for Valentine's Day, and I recommend the best of me. And we're, on Friday, we have the two major stars. James Marston will be here along with Michelle Moynihan, who play the adult version of the film. So we'll have them here Friday. There we go. That's so awesome. we're, we're setting everybody up for their Valentine's night in. For the best of honey. me, right. Nicholas yeah. Sparks.
How better to start your Valentine's I know. Day? I know. <laughs> tissues, tissues, tissues. Jim, thank you so much. And actually, Alex. I'm going to thank you ahead of time because you actually brought us a, a DVD to give away. Yeah, I did. And I think it's a pretty good one. Oh, we love it when you do that. If you want to win Disney's Alexander starring Steve Carell and Jennifer Garner, just visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest link to enter and you can have an extra DVD to have. Yeah.